Congratulations on your NME Awards. Thank you so much, man. This means the absolute world to us. We've never had an award before for anything. This is your first one? Yeah. Not even any awards at school or anything? Uh, or I, definitely I won not. like a certificate at school for like putting in good punctuality, but that was about it. I think I won like a 100 meter race once. Really Decent. Or like an egg and spoon race. Right. Most improved. Is this the best one of all of uh, those yeah. awards? Oh, definitely. I like the shape. Through the letterbox at the Jehovah's Witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> so I heard your speech was a little unconventional. Apparently it was a, a uh, sung speech. Yeah, no, Where was, did that idea come from? Uh, we were in the studio today and our producers they was like, have you got a speech? I was like, well, obviously not. And it was like, on the train here, we were singing Maroon 5. And he was like, just do that. And I was like, go on then. I've actually got, I've just won five pounds. I think, uh, no, oh, it was a bet. I think Murray actually sang better tonight than he does at our live shows, yeah. doing that song for Brixton. Uh, is uh, Maroon 5 a particular favourite of you yeah. guys? Yeah. Oh, That's yeah. it, we had it on earlier just to like, calm us down. A true inspiration for the band. No, for real though, that for album, real. Songs About Jane, incredible. I would have done all of them, but it felt a bit egotistical it a while, to stay it? up there for so long. Um, Emily Evis is here tonight. She's won our Godlike Genius oh Award for Woo! Glastonbury. My are you Glastonbury oh fans? Oh my god! Yeah. Have you played Glastonbury before? fans? We are like we played there last year okay. on the BBC introducing, and you know what? It changed our us like our outlook on festivals. It's probably the best festival I've ever been to slash played. So, what was your outlook on festivals before? Were you not festival fans, and Glastonbury changed your mind? Oh. Every other festival is just really shit in comparison. So it kind of just ruined our lives but it was great we're not actually booked for glastonbury this year so oh well she's here go and find her emily get us on the lineup yeah. and two big bands have sort of announced their comeback this year the strokes have got a new album out and rage against the machine are playing some shows yeah. which one are you more excited about uh <laughs> I, no, I'm going to have to say Rage. Why Rage? Because I think they're incredible. Rage Against the Machine? Yeah. Yeah. We're missing them. We've crossed days with them. It's so frustrating. Whereabouts? Uh, Reading? It needs to be crossed over. Our sound engineer I is most annoyed. Anybody watching this, go see Rage because they're seminal and we will just fade with the times. What are you doing this year that you're most excited about? What's on your calendar or schedule oh. that's... Running around the street going. with that naked, being like, <laughs> fuck you, I've got an enemy award. Will you hold it to... Cover yes, okay. uh, it will be inside, <laughs> tickling the prostate nicely. Wonderful, thank you Lock very much. Lock up your children. <laughs> thank you very much, have an excellent Thanks. night. She will Cheers. be loved. <laughs>